Thank you, Madam Speaker. I request permission to speak to both bills in the package. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. Thank, thank you very much. So colleagues, like many others in this chamber, I previously too served as a county commissioner and I do rise in staunch opposition to these bills. These bills before us would fundamentally alter our state's governance structure, take away decisions from voters, and ultimately make county governments less responsive to the people they serve. The current two-year terms for county commissioners really reflect the two-year terms of state house members and congressional House of Representative members. Having shorter terms allows members of the public to give feedback to their elected officials on a regular basis and for elected officials to gauge the opinion of their constituency. Keep in mind, two-year terms do mean something to the voters, Madam Speaker, and this is how we gauge what they think every two years. By extending these terms, we're removing the options for voters and disenfranchising them from having input on the direction and governance of their county. Some contend that these bills will align them with countywide elected officials terms like county sheriffs, clerks, prosecutors, treasurers. However, there are large differences between those countywide offices, which have many administrative duties overseeing entire departments and the primarily legislative and budgetary roles of county commissioners. Commissioner's primary duty is to develop policies and appropriate dollars for the communities and the people they represent. It is vital that commissioners remain close to the pulse of their voters so that they can make proper decisions while representing them. Additionally, other proponents contend commissioners spend much of their time simply running for re-election. Okay, that's what happens in two-year terms, but you still get the work done. Yet all levels of, of, of government, such as state house and federal house, they're all perfectly capable of completing their jobs on the same time frame with larger areas to govern. Talking to voters and listening to their concerns is a key component to this job and lessening the need to present, be present in the, in the community only hurts the elected officials relationship with their constituents and ability to vote in accordance with their wishes. Keep that in mind. What are we trying to do here? Extend the terms to four years so they spend less time in their constituencies? That's not a good recipe. Lastly, what concerns me most about these bills is that the voters themselves will have no ability to decide what is best for their communities. Voters will not even be given the chance to choose whether they want to keep their commissioners two years or go to four-year terms. As this requires a four-year time frame, its enactment is entirely done without their direct input. Decisions on the very foundations of our government should not be enacted without the public's input. Madam Chair, I strongly urge all my colleagues to vote no on these two bills. Thank you very much. The